Is overeating carbs worse than overeating fat when it comes to weight gain? That's what I'm exploring in this video. If you saw the first video in this series, it's quite evident that cutting carbs is not necessary to lose weight. Now this is quite a big blow for advocates of the carbohydrate insulin hypothesis like Gary Torps. But what about gaining weight? Are carbs worse than fat? Clinical trials show this is not the case if we match the calories. In this study of 16 men, 9 lean and 7 obese, subjects were fed a strict diet providing 150% of caloric requirements designed for weight gain. The additional 50% of the calories came from either carbohydrate or fat for 14 days at a time. Subjects completed both diets in a crossover design. Researchers found that both carbohydrate and fat overfeeding caused almost identical increases in body weight, fat mass, and lean mass. These increases did not differ significantly between the lean and obese subjects either. There was another similar overfeeding study that also found no differences between diets in total weight gain or fat mass gain after 21 days. This actually holds true whether we overeat calories or not. So it's safe to say when calories are matched, there's no difference in fat gain between eating carbs or fat. So insulin is not having any significant impact in fat storage. Okay, so have I convinced you yet? Or do you still believe that carbs are uniquely fattening? Even if we ignore the clinical studies, which is the most powerful evidence we have, the observational and historical evidence just does not support this theory either. Indigenous groups like the Tarahumara Indians and Katavans all thrived on very high carb diets for hundreds of years. Uh, obesity was very rare, if not non-existent, in all of these indigenous groups. For example, Katavans had virtually no overweight people and very low insulin levels, despite a diet that was 70% carbs. The same was observed for pre-industrialized Asian populations up until the 20th century who were eating staple foods like rice, noodles, potatoes, and fruit. Even by the 1990s, 50 to 60% of calories eaten in Japan and China still came from carbs. This was more than the US or UK, yet obesity rates were much lower. If carbs themselves were fattening, these populations would not have had lean bodies and good health overall, regardless of how active they were. Let's not forget that there are still modern day humans thriving on high carb diets too. For example, the Japanese island of Okinawa has the greatest proportion of centenarians in the world, that is people living over 100 years old. The Okinawans diet has always been carb dense, particularly sweet potatoes and legumes and rice to a lesser extent. In fact, a massive 85% of their calories came from carbs up until the 1950s. More than 65 years later, and so many of them are still alive and well. Those from the Greek island of Ikaria also live long and healthy lives, despite a diet high in bread, potatoes, and legumes. Almost one in three inhabitants lives to be 90 years old, which is two and a half times the rate of Americans. The science is in, guys. Carbs are no worse for your waistline than any other nutrient, at least from a metabolic point of view. This makes sense when you consider all the past and present populations that thrive on high carb foods. That's not to say high carb junk foods are fine, but it's the calories and the fact that it's so easy to consume large quantities of them that is the real problem and not the carbs themselves. Thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to leave a comment. And if you're watching on YouTube, uh, you can click the red button below this video to subscribe to the Diet vs. Disease YouTube channel so you don't miss out on other videos like this one.